everybody, it's Adorkable Liz 77 and today we're going to do my Terezi inspired makeup. I know I haven't done makeup videos in a while, life kind of got busy, it's my last semester of college, my two year anniversary with my boyfriend, uh, life. <laughs> so what I have on my lips is Wet n Wild's red lipstick, it's 514A. You guys can see that. And then um, I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics 120 palette, first edition. And um, you guys could use an angled brush, but um, I'm just going to use a flat eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. And I've already applied my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly as my base to my upper and lower lid. So the first color we're going to start off with is a teal because that is Terezi's blood color. Oh, JJ, you're okay. Sorry, my dog's in my room. <laughs> And um, we're just going to choose this color right here. Okay. Sorry guys, I let my dog out. My mom's home. She's going crazy. Take this brush and we're going to go in the inner corner and outer corner and make this cat eye shape on the lower and as well. I'm just going to start on the bottom. And if you guys want, um, you could use an angled brush instead and probably give you better precision. Uh, precision. Blah. Can't talk today. And we're going to go along the upper lash, ba lash base. <laughs> and you guys can go over it as many times as you want to get the desired color payoff you want. Or you could use um, NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk as your base first and make the shape. I'm going to leave it up to you guys depending on what you have, what materials you have. Now I'm going to go out and make the cat eye shape. No, I've already fudged. Yes, I said fudged. But it's kind of harder to do cat eye with this brush. I did it on the other side, but oh well. You get you get the picture. It's just better use the angled brush. Just use the angled brush. <laughs> Save your grief. Now I'm going to wipe off the excess teal. Known for her blank red eyes because she's blind. So I kind of wanted to incorporate that. And you guys don't have to do the red lipstick. It's only if you want to. That's optional. It's whatever makes you guys comfortable. Now we're going to go into this red shade right here with the same brush. And we're going to go in the upper connecting To the cat eye line. So if you guys wanted to kind of stop and not add the red on the bottom, you guys could do that too. It's really up to you. And I'm just going to go on the bottom and kind of connect that and wing it out a little bit. Kind of did that on this side, but kind of rubbed off a little bit. Kind of bring it out. 
and go in the inner corner kind of connect the red together of course this looks for cosplay I wouldn't suggest going outside if you're not in cosplay <laughs> with this makeup that that'd be a really interesting day yes yes it would be So just go underneath and if you want you can clean up the fallout of the eyeshadow with an oil free makeup remover for your eye area and just make sure your brush is clean and I'm going to take the same brush that I was using earlier and I would have used my angled brush and my other brushes but I deep cleaned my brushes yesterday and they're still wet and this one's kind of still wet but I haven't done any videos in a while and I was kind of feeling bad so <laughs> yeah and we're just gonna go in with NYX's nude matte eyeshadow and craving I've used this in my other videos, and it's just a really awesome matte gray that I think um, just captures the um, color of the troll's skin. And sorry, I'm having a hard time articulating myself right now. kind of the story of my life. <laughs> okay. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I promise I will make more videos this Friday. Me and my boyfriend should make a tutorial on how to make Rarity's unicorn horn and um, I, I'm i cosplaying as Rarity and he's going to be cosplaying as the male version of Twilight Sparkle and his version is, what is it, what is it called? Like, um, It's Dusk something. The male version of Twilight. What do they call it on Inquestria Daily? Ugh. On oh, Inquestria... Ugh. It's like Dusk. They call it like the, the male equivalent to Twilight Sparkle is Dusk... What is it? Okay, well, I'm pretty sure if you like Homestuck and MLP, you guys who are watching this, who, who do like both, you're probably going to tell me what the male version of Twilight Sparkle is. <laughs> so you can guys do that in the comments below. Because <laughs> obviously I'm, I'm being herp derp today. And I'm forgetting what it's called. And I'm sure my boyfriend, who probably, I highly doubt it. But maybe, maybe, because sometimes he does watch my videos. He'll probably... Just tell me in person what it is. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye!